Assalamualaikum. Episode number 29, 31st of December 2020. New Year's Eve. Absolutely. Last episode for the year. That's right. Yes. Very, very busy here. So, looks like we have quite a few people already online and looks like we're live on Facebook and it's working this time around. Good stuff. So, sorry for last week. It's a bit of a hiccup. So, we should be good to go. Yep. So, we're going to start with a few statistics, I think. Yep. So, rounding off the end of the year. Yes. So, it'll be fun to to see what happened during the year, which was very unusual. Absolutely. So, this year we started we... doing these live shows, which we is did. probably the biggest change for, uh, you know, for, for us this year. Obviously, yeah. we, we've been in lockdown, so we decided to start interacting live with these yeah. live events every, every Friday. And so we recorded a total of 42 live shows. 43 40. with this one, actually. 40. 40. This is the 43rd. Should wow. be the 33rd. Yes. So, yeah, it's that's been a, fun. That's a bit uh, very interesting. A bit of a learning curve. It has been. We yep. started in a shop. Yes. We moved to do them from your living room and my garage. Yes, that's <laughs> and right. And then we're back in a shop. Hopefully, yeah, that's right. good to stay here for a bit. Yeah. So, so hopefully everyone's enjoyed you know, tuning in and watching us. Absolutely. And talk about different bits and pieces. Yes. So, excellent. So I can see Rob coming online and Tony. Hello, everyone. Hello. And uh, we've been quite active on social media too. And we have been. We spent. So what have we been doing there? We've done a total of. 8,762 posts across all different platforms. 8,000? 8, 8,762. Wow. I think 73% were yours. Oh, probably. Yes. <laughs> so, busy here. So, hopefully, yes. you brought some information. We're trying to inform as much as we can. Yeah, and try to make it entertaining. Yeah. yeah. So, it'd be really good if, you, uh, if you're on, you comment, let us know what you think, and we can. Uh, that will help us a lot to actually improve what we, what we bring to you, actually. Yeah. And so... But 8,000 was uh, didn't look so much day by day, but it's a big number. And it does add up, doesn't it? It does add up. Wow. Really. So, uh, so thank you for uh, following us there. And last statistic is on videos. We actually focus a bit more in producing videos. Yep. And as of today, we published 109 videos 109. for the 2020. So Amazing. That's a bit of a bit of a, a achievement. So we started yeah. in Noeli about two years ago to produce right. some videos, and in the last 12 months we produced a lot more actually. Yeah, it's good. So, I mean, I guess with the lockdown, it, it's good to be able to have a way of making some sort of connection, even Absolutely. though we're not face to face. And then, if there's any uh, tutorials, we teach you what to do yeah. there, and then also showing new product. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It, it give, hopefully, it's given everyone a, a, a different chance perspective of, as well. Yeah, that's right. And also yeah. a chance of coming to the store when they couldn't actually physically come. Definitely. So that, that was the that was the idea, really, to give yeah. that kind of feel as close as possible to the store experience. And yes. uh, for 2021, we're planning to carry on with that. And, yeah, for uh, sure improve the, 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 the quality and the different type of content that we make. Yes. So I'm sure the live show will carry on for next year. So yep. episode 44 will be up next Friday, I guess. Yes. Uh, so 2 p.m. we'll go back to Friday. Yep. So excellent. And I think we have the statistic of the most sold product. Yes. This is quite interesting. This is a bit different to what we normally do. We Absolutely. normally have the car there where you have to guess what type of car it is and the color and the year. But we've got a different product there. As it's you can see, here. it's the blue thing. So, that's this one here. So, we done actually a very interesting video early in the year on this one on yes. how to, um, how do you say, un unclog it? Yeah, or yeah, so it's, it's a handy little tip for um, making it uh, free flowing because it can get um, blocked up from time to time. So, jump on YouTube, we have a very interesting video of this. It's, it's a very simple tip, but quite, um, quite useful. Yes. But what we want to know today, and as a challenge for today, is how many of those we've sold in the past 12 months. Yes. Let's see so in 2020, how many units we've sold? That's right. The it's Rebel a, Contact the Glue. Absolutely. It's a, it's a very interesting number, really. So let's see if you can get some number going, and we'll uh, we'll let you know the actual number at the end of the at the end of the show. Yeah. So, what else? Meanwhile, if you have any questions, make sure you pop them on the chat here. We'll be definitely happy to respond. Yep. Look, we've got Ryan, Mike. Good to see you there. Welcome to the show. It's the first time I see you live. Hello. So, hello, Mike. So today we're going to talk about the velodrome. Velodrome, yes, we have to talk about velodrome. Definitely coming closer. Coming closer is only three weeks away, I think now. Three, four. It is only three, three weeks four. away. Yeah. Yep. So, so, are you ready? Sort of. I've got my car out to be refreshed and uh, modified to go faster. So for everyone that uh, is out there that doesn't know what velodrome is, velodrome is a. It's held at the Kobo Velodrome in Melbourne. Yep. Uh, it started quite a long time ago. It would be say thirty years plus, maybe. And the whole idea was, um, got the idea from Oval Racing from the States, yes. and the guys put together um, uh, an Australian version. So it used to be um, 
any sort of radio control car um, going around a, uh, a fully banked uh, concrete velodrome. velodrome. Yep. And you get some crazy speeds. Now, it has been done for a long, long time. And um, you know, Tony and uh, other guys have put together another event. It's really a, a good timing for the event you know, after the year we've gone through because there hasn't been much racing. Definitely. And this is going to be purely fun. This is going to so. be definitely fun. So there'll be lots of speed, lots yes. of crushes. Yes. Perhaps some good ones and some bad ones. Yes. So lots of broken cars, but yes. must still be fun. Yeah, that's right. So, so that's going to be on the 23rd. It's a Saturday. Yes. I think it's the weekend for um, uh, the Australia Day weekend. Oh, that's right. Yes. 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 So make sure you um, lock it in. So if you want to um, get a reminder, just go to the event page. Just and yeah, just uh, register your interest. interest? Yep. Yeah. And then you can go to the um, RC Thunderdome Facebook page too to get all the info. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, so you get rules and things, and as you'll see, one of the latest posts, there really aren't any rules, which is great. Any car will be fine. That's right. And uh, it's very much to have fun and, and to experience something different in a controlled environment too. So yes. It's not as dangerous. Yes, that's right. We're trying to get 100 kilometers an hour plus plus on a street, on a road. Yes. Um, it just uh, it'll be dangerous, really. Yes, that's right. So if you are in an enclosed environment, it should be, should be much safer and, uh, and more fun, obviously, if you have three or four of us kind of bumping onto each other would be even more interesting. Oh yeah, when you get the sideways little action there, it's absolutely, it's hair raising. So for the event, we may be preparing this car here. Yes. So this is our 1.8 GT electric. Yes. This is a monster. It is. So this has just been put together by Brett. Yes. It's and we've just got these, these are brand new bodies that just came in last week. Definitely. So these are the bitty design uh, bodies. This is called the 765. So that's a that's the actual full sticker sheet that came with it. Brilliant body. So as you can see, this is not just a plain shell. It's actually been fully engineered. The level of detail is phenomenal. Um, you can see the, the fuel caps, the window um, opening, the rivets, very well detailed. So this would need a very nice paint job, actually. It's a really nice, um, firm Lexan as well. And so. as you can see, all the detailing here. Let's see if we can jump on a side camera. Maybe we can see this one. Oh yeah, you'll see all the... Actually, uh, let's jump on this camera here. The door hinges and stuff. There you go, just put it here. As you can see, even down here, all this kind of... Uh, all the venting. All the venting is actually designed to increase the stiffness of, of the body in that mm. section. So it's designed for cosmetic, but also for uh, functionality, actually. Uh, let's check just on the side here, so you can see. You can see fuel cap here. You can see all the rivets. Uh, along the window here, all the riveting, the window, on the roof, you got all the of details. I really like the molding on the um, the back corner. Yeah, this how... part here. Yeah. So you can get it there. So really, really well detailed body shell actually. And the back, it's also quite nice, got the exhaust. So this is meant to be, you know, similar to a McLaren type of car. So it's got, uh, it's got some electronics in it already. Just yes. needs a bit more final work. So, so this is the hot bodies 1.8 GT, yes. which is based on a buggy, really. Yes. Um, so this is a 1.8 buggy um, with uh, shorter shocks, um, different bumper, and uh, uh, slightly different shock tower. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty much a 1.8 buggy with very few parts. You can turn it into a off-road buggy, which is probably one of the most exciting parts for this project because. Yeah. With one kit and about 10 parts or so, you can switch on-road and off-road from week to week. So um, we, we, we built this one with all the Aramax Dash electronics. So we have uh, a 220 amp uh, speed controller. I think it does go, go up to 608S actually. 6S. This one 6S? 6S. Yep. Uh, a big, I think it's a 2650 motor. It was super fast. Yep. We already put a couple of fans on the side here because that would get pretty hot. Yes. Uh, and then we've got higher servo actually installed at the moment, one of my uh, buggy servos. Mm -hmm. And so fully equipped for some proper speed. Yes. So as some of you know, we're trying to get this class starting at uh, a couple of different clubs down in Lilydale. We actually tried this at uh, a Temple store as well. It does run really well on a small truck, so it could be, could be good fun. You guys have two questions also. Yes. From Rob, uh, he asking, can we just turn up on the day? for the velodrome or yes. do we need to register beforehand? Yeah. Just turn up on the day, but it's better if you register online just to give you that reminder that you have to turn up at a particular time because if there's any um, particular times they want you to register on the day, yes. just so you know when to turn up what yes, time. Yes, absolutely. So I think they want to do it at 11 o'clock registration, but that might change, so yeah. So keep it on the page, I guess. Yes. Probably that's the best way to get the latest uh, information. Yep. So, and yeah. there's one more from Stephen for you guys. Yeah, yes. we'll have a look at that one in a second. That's on the glue. Yep. Um, yeah, so, um, 
what were we saying? So, yeah, so th these are these are ready these to are go. Really good. So, there's a really good um, size for running on the Velodrome too, because the Velodrome is reasonably smooth, but it's got some some divots and things because it's quite old Definitely. now. And A scale cars have got quite enough um, movement and ride height, and also it's got weight for um, stability. Absolutely. So one A scale would be the perfect choice. Um, my car is a 10 scale um, short course, which is almost similar Similar size, sort really. of thing, a bit lighter. Yeah. So yeah, anything that's like that would be perfect. Definitely. But 10 scales and the minis are going to be out there too. Absolutely, that would be interesting. Minis are like flying bricks going around there. Yeah, amazing. So. They're amazing. I think so. And today we actually received the Truggy version of these effectively. Let me yes. bring it's just a box really, so there's not too much to see yet. We will have one of those built, uh, hopefully in the next uh, week. Also, yes. I think Brett is getting onto that very quickly. Yep. Um, but effectively, is a um, electric truggy, so big monster truck, electric powered, up to you know six S or so. It'll yep. be an absolute gun. So that could be interesting as well on the velodrome. Yeah, for sure. Uh, got, like any monster trucks too. Definitely. So I will, uh, I will definitely have a go with the X Max. Got these big <laughs> trucks as X Max. We'll probably bring it for the live in a, next week, perhaps. It's huge, yes. one feet on this table. So. Yep. But it's a new. Um, E8T, so it's electric, yep. 1.8 Truggy by Hot Bodies, which it does look very similar. To give you an idea for those they don't know, um, to this kind of machine. Yeah, really. so it's similar sort of proportion, so really wide track. Yes. Um, you got the truck, it'll, it'll have a, a more streamlined looking truck body though. Definitely. But similar so sort of um, layout. Layout, so this mm. is from Team Corali. Um, this is the Dementa, so it's a, it's a bashy machine, it's just for jumping in. And, and trashing it so so the the hot body will be a bit more refined a bit yes. more um you know designed for racing but just to give you an idea that's uh that's what you could actually get to perhaps even take it at a day at a velodrome oh for maybe. sure yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, i mean if you've got your x-max coming yeah that's more than contender. does have a wheelie bar <laughs> so that means that this car will be often on its wheels like that yes um on 6s they will flip very easily yes so that's so very interesting. Really encourage everyone to go there to try to run a car because that's where most of the fun is. Yes. But if you can't run, then of course you can come along and be a spectator. Absolutely. I mean, that's take some be... videos actually. Yes, yes. I mean, that, that, that's going to be awesome too. But yeah, if you've got a car, bring Just it along. Come along. Might as well. Come along. And finally, here I have this buggy. And it's going to out the floor. Oh, yes. So let's put this. And that's the buggy version yep. of the Team Corali. So that's another good option. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The, these out of the box, drive. all standard, they do about 100 kilometers now. Absolutely. So with a little bit of modification, you get that going faster. And, I mean, 100 kilometers an hour is uh, a fair speed for these things. Here we go. That's your buggy. Buggy is a lot more controllable. It's a bit more precise. Yes. So buggy we could find as well. Yeah, for sure. So, and that's your range of 1.8 electric monsters, really. So yeah. get these at 100 plus kilometers an hour and see if you can control them. Yes. Very good. So yeah. we've got a few questions here meanwhile. Okay. Let's go back. So, I uh, saw so a question in relation to the glue. There's yes. a few guesses actually on the glue. Oh, okay. I yeah, think yeah. they're far too high though. We've got a 2187 by Tony and we've got a 5670 by Brad. That's, that's a few too many guys. So, we, <laughs> that's still a lot. So, we sold a lot but not that many. So, let's see if you can guess it. It's, the, it's less than what Tony uh, guessed. And then, Stephen. He's asking. Uh, he's he's uh, asking. He's saying that his glue yep. uh, um, is drying uh, too quick up in Gladstone, Queensland. Um, so yeah, so he's uh, he's, he's uh, wondering uh, what can be done really. When you, when you say drying too quickly, you mean drying in the bottle, or do you mean yeah. drying when you're trying to apply it? That's a good question. So I guess if it's if it's drying too quickly in the bottle, uh, it could have something to do with the heat. Yes. Um, so it, it's a solvent, so it evaporates. Evaporates, yeah. Um, so I guess you could try and keep it in a cool place. You could even keep it in the fridge. Some people keep their super glues in the fridge, it helps out. Um, super glues get a, um, uh, problems with humidity too. I don't think humidity is the issue here, it's probably the heat mainly. Um, if it's drying too quickly when you're trying to apply it, um, I don't know what you can do about that one because it's a, it's a solvent cement with some filler in it. So that's why it's thicker, and generally the filler makes it slower drying. Definitely. So you, I guess you could opt for a thicker glue, um, but of course you won't have the same control. Um, it's worth trying different brands, perhaps. You know, Tamiya. Yeah, that's true too. Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, perhaps, yes. or some of the other cements that Tamiya produces. So the Extra Thin Cement is used a different way. So you join parts first and you apply the, the yeah. solvent. Yeah. So that might be the 
how you solve that one there if it dries too quickly uh, when it's coming out of the bottle. But but if it's storage, then probably Definitely. just a cool place. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, he said it's drying in the bottle. In the bottle. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So if it's in the bottle, then yeah, I think it'll be the the heat that you're experiencing. Yeah. So keep it in the fridge before you use it, uh, because the the temperature of it, even if it's cold, it won't affect its um a solvent. That's right. Ability, and then yeah. once you finish with it, just pop it back in. Put it back in. Yeah. Good. Okay. So um, be a few more guesses here on the glue. So we've got some five hundred and fifty. Oh, and at 300 so that's falling short guys yeah, be yeah, more than that that's, be more than that that's quite a bit short uh quite a few questions today that's yeah, really good, good. um steven and so we've got dan asking if the truggy is available now yes it arrived literally two hours ago so that's the right. e uh, e8 t is available now so have we got these on the web uh should be yet? listed on should the website there? the okay. part number is hb204 Five seven six. There you go. Oh, there you go. The there you go. Yeah, very fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. So just arrived. So, uh, let's see. So um, quite like this. So you're going to be driving this? I will be driving this. Are you going to be the first driver or the second driver? Uh, yeah, good question actually. <laughs> let's see who's going to have the. Who's gonna crush it first? I'll be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to try coming with Brad. See who's gonna yes. drive it first. I think it's gonna go really well. But we'll have quite a few cars. It'll be. will be uh, good fun. Yes. Steven is suggesting we have 720. We sold this glue. That's still a little bit short. Yes. A little bit short. So, cool. So anyway, this is uh, this is gonna be completed in the next week or so, as well as a truggy here will be ready for uh, for. Uh, um, Next week, hopefully, or the week Still after. Still trying to decide on what sort of paint job we should put actually, on it. That's a good point. I was suggesting this morning that the white and pink could white actually be pink. interesting. I saw yesterday the Hobbyman gentleman brought in a Tamiya truck. Yeah. It was white and pink. Right, okay. And I thought it was actually really good. Yeah, yeah, that would stand out. That would definitely stand out. Yeah, yeah. So I was be... thinking of the retro colors, like the cream and the chocolate brown. Oh, that could be interesting too. It could be half and half. It could be. It could be. This half. Yeah, you got the retro side, and then you get yeah. the modern side. So when you go on one side of the velodrome, you got retro, and the other side you go modern. Yes, that's, that's the solution. Yeah. So if you want to suggest any colors we could do this body, just uh, put in a comment. It'd be really good. Good. So what do we have? Um, we've got many numbers here. Twelve hundred, Stephen. That'd be short. Rob has got one five six eight. Wow, that's getting closer. It's getting it's closer. Getting closer. Yeah. Tony, you're still falling short there. And Rob, Robert Blake. 12.50 still a bit short. So I think the closest at this point is Rob with 1.568. So let's see how we go. Yep. Cool. So right. well, let's park this aside. Yep, I want to bring this up here. Because that would be a bit of a <clears throat> talking point. So this is a card that a customer dropped off yesterday, actually, when we'll, we'll need to do some work. Um, and I thought to bring it up is actually very nice, uh, very nice body shell. Um, it's a bit special, isn't it? Very special. So we'll have to do quite a bit of work on this one. So we need to uh, install the body. Uh, yeah. Other electronic it's work. It's got the lights. It's got the light kit to be installed and everything. Yep. But this body shell is phenomenal. That's an Axial SCX Stand 2, I think. Uh, and this is a killer body, I think. Um, yeah, the body is a very shell. scale. Very so. scale. These have got opening doors. It does have opening doors. Yeah. Uh, it Maybe they've been uh, no, the, fixed. Oh uh, yeah, no, you need to undo them. So right. this one have opening doors. Yep. But the the way they sold it, there's several kits that you can add to it. So you can have open bonnet, you can have right. engine diesels, opening doors, yep. uh, and quite a few different parts uh, that you can add to it. Uh, but that makes it for a very nice kit. There's some interior details actually. Let me see if I can jump on the side here. Oops. That's got the dash in there. Sorry guys. So let's see if you can see from. Here, a bit of dashboard in there. Oh yeah, this is a, there we go. So the GPS. Yeah, so that's a very, very nicely detailed. There we go. Again, so you can actually open the side mirror. They move. Yeah, they clever how they run. Hinge there. They're very nice snorkel. Very well detailed. Uh, obviously, a fully licensed body. So that's a nice chrome at the front. And so this will uh, we need a little bit of finishing. And I thought it would be nice to bring it up. So that's a rock crawler. Mm, Is it a new really piece? Really nice. Very scale. 
very scale so you know compared to what you get uh, normally out of the box this does add a total new level of uh, of scale actually and that's uh that's with a killer body so that's mm, a very nice. nice nice kit so uh let's see let's see some more numbers here one seven one nine one what? six four five Whoa. Oh, that's pretty close, isn't that's it? That's so close. Let's see if anyone can get any closer than Tony. 1645 is is the closest. Oh. You, are you going to try all numbers now? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's it's like this, this much. Like this. This much. Yeah, this much. So, good. So, that's a rock crawler project that will mm. be really good for your uh, summer holiday, actually. Going to go away for the weekend. I'm definitely going to take my Traxxas TRX4. Because um, it'll be very nice at the beach, actually. Yes. Be careful with the salt. Yes. But uh, that's a good uh, machine. Everyone probably doesn't know, but the, the special TRX6 has actually got a new home. The TRX6 uh, is actually gone. Yes. Yes, it's been sold yes. uh, to what we hope is a very happy owner. Yes. It was sold within two days, actually. Yes. So Had a lot of work on that. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. So time to start a new one. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what will be the next project. Could be a, a crawler again. I think crawler is a, definitely a good option for this kind of... Yeah, I think Super so. custom there's, projects. There's so much option and, and customization you can do on it. Absolutely. So out of the box, not often a rate run needs some uh, some upgrades. Don't have to, but if you put a couple of upgrades like servos and so forth, yep, it makes it really special. It does. So we'll pick a new one, come in the new, and we'll work on that. Very good. So let's park these aside. Yep. So we actually just received a few minutes ago a big Gundam delivery. Oh, something we did. really special on it. Yes. So, it's been Where do you want to start? Uh, should we do the special special? Special special first. All right, so... Meanwhile, numbers are going everywhere here. <laughs> so we're going to give... We're, we're going to comment on the numbers after this, perhaps. Comment on the numbers? There's numbers going everywhere here. What do you mean? There's all sorts of numbers from 0 to 2,000 have been almost um, cold so far. Oh, everyone's gone for the lotto. Yeah. Well, I guess... You can always put this number on the lotto tonight <laughs> and see if you may win something. But All meanwhile, right. we won this one today. All right, so this is one of the new series from yes. Bandai for their Gundam series. So this is the um, Master Grade EX. So it's a special series. Um, it's got a lot of bits in it. It comes with all the lighting. Yes. Um, and it's a unicorn, the car. So it's got um, uh, a... A new sort of lighting system so some of the earlier lighting systems they had issues of breakages when you yep. tried to move them around so these ones are much tougher it comes with the landing dock as well where all the batteries and yep. stuff can, can go into um, and they go together very well they look really good too and we've got one very that's nice. actually built in, built in the front cabinet fully painted too yes very well made yes we we're gonna take it out here but we didn't get quite enough time no but that's right be perfect timing for next week yes as we're gonna have this still in the box hopefully yes hopefully. and the build version which should be interesting so next week we'll definitely bring one uh bring one out yep be for sure really, really good so yeah big release for the year this yep, one. so this one there so finally made it we'll probably have an opening box of that uh sometime yes attorney so yes keen on that. Can you? oh okay oh nice <laughs> All right, so and a few other things. Titanium finish. Turned up, yeah, a few of the titanium finish uh, master grades, which we haven't had <laughs> for, some for a while. There we go, look at that, they look great. Okay, so they're basically the, the same as the traditional kit. So traditional kit's always um, coloured already, but it's a plastic finish. Yep. Now, titanium finish ones are a paint finish, and they've got this metallic that, finish. That sheen. Very shiny. That looks quite amazing. So let me just have let's, a quick uh, look at Let's one. open one and have a look inside. That's probably a good example. Uh, so it's got this sort of pearl metallic. Yep. As if you guys can see here. So that's on the unicorn. Here we go. I think you can see. You might just be able to see the um on here, let me see machine that. through it. So it's it's if you can't see it that well, it's basically it's a silver base and with pearl. a transparent white that's been put over the top. Yeah. So it's got this pearlescent um white finish on the edges it comes through a bit more so it's got a lot of three-dimensionality uh in it already definitely so in person it's definitely a lot nicer to see but it's it's definitely really really nice so yeah so from there you got oh you got the, oh, the wow. st andrew 
That's and so red. that's got... It's got a candy metallic red finish applied wow. at the factory. It's probably a lot easier to see than on camera. So to try, so try to achieve that with paint, so you need to um, start off with uh, quite a lot of people would start with gloss black as the base. I'll do a silver to bring up the contrast within the metallic. And then quite a lot of clear red would go over the top to get this really deep depth in the um, wow. in the red. And, and then you've got this one, which is got some gold same. parts in here actually. Oh yeah, is that same finishing? Probably no. That's more standard. Yeah. But otherwise, this is, this is a similar sort of um, similar white, a pearly white, pearl white finish. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, so really good. Really, really nice. Something a bit different we yes. haven't seen for a while. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this just arrived today. Will be probably available online in the in the coming in the coming days. Probably Monday or so. Yes. Tony's asking if the shiny boys require a top coat uh, clear afterwards. I wouldn't think so. No, I think they look good really today. good. I mean, they look pretty good already. If you put a clear on it, you'll just get extra sheen. Yeah. Because at the moment it's a semi gloss, which um, which looks all right. Actually. Yeah, it's got probably good. It's, it's got, got a good an balance. Yeah, anodized look to it. So if you want the super sheen, you can put a clear on it. But I think it looks pretty good the way it is. Definitely. Yeah. yeah so that's nice. uh, really good. So there's the titanium finish ones, and then we've got a um, uh, perfect grade which is just restocked as well. So the ashtray. Uh huh. So you got the red frame here. Now we've had these around um, before, but these are quite popular because they have a very sleek shape to the particular design of the uh, the suit. And if you see from here, the um, the frame is uh, incredibly flexible, so you can get these really uh, dynamic poses, yep. particularly with the, the samurai sword. So he's got the the swords out here, as you can see. And the perfect grades, if you're not familiar, they're the biggest ones. So the large one, yeah. I guess there's mega as well, but perfect grade is one to sixty scale. So it'd be like this sort of height. I guess it's about a foot. Um, and they've got the most joints in them, so they've got jointed fingers. Yes, um, very detailed. Yes. So yeah, so we've got a few um, uh, perfect grades. So not just this one. There's a few others as well, and I guess we'll pull them out for the next week once Definitely. we go through the, the whole lot of them because there's a there's a huge restock, and we haven't had any. Um, Bandai for a little while, so, so it's good to see. Be a bit on the shelf by next week? Yes. Good. So that's it, that's a, that's a bit of a range, it's probably 10 or 12 boxes out there, was a big pallet. Oh, yes, that's just, right. just before the live. Yes. So, well, uh, moving on, so, mm. we got our 2020 picks, so uh, we, we did a bit of a oh, yes. favorite product last week. Yes, that's right. a few more to go. Yes. So, where do we start? I think we start from the Mini Z. Yeah, this is quite special, isn't it? So this is one of your picks. That was Tom's pick. Oh, that's Tom's pick. Yeah, I, I would, you know, if I could pick many, I would have picked this one as well. But yes, being yes. limited one, that wasn't mine. But this is phenomenal. A couple of things that come, you know, that stand out in my opinion is the finishing of the body. Yeah, how, that's really how good. realistic it looks. Um, uh, very, very well made. So they've done the Suzuki chimney. Yes. The Hilux. Yes. And uh, the Wrangler. Yes. So I think there's three for now. Different color bodies, so there's white and gray. There's a the chimney was a really nice bright green, yes, and a gray from memory or brown. So was it a yellow brown. sort of orange or something? Or an orange, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, and then like that. you had the Hilux that was in silver and kind of a deep red, yeah. So really nice, and it's a four wheel drive rock crawler, similar to the big one we showed before, but in that's right. So it's got a full articulation in the suspension, yeah, yeah. And best part of this works with uh, four AA batteries, yeah, which means you don't need charges and rechargeable with you you can just take it with you in a bag and anywhere you are you can play with it so yep very good pick from tom is the mini z 4x4 range uh just i think it's new for this uh uh 2020 actually yeah they're new for this year yeah very nice the mini mini z have been around for a very long time and now they upgraded to 4x4 yeah it's good to see that they're always developing them. new things and mm. uh, i'm pretty sure they will have a few new bodies coming for uh next year actually yeah so will be good to have a look at this. Okay, well, that was good. Good to see Tom's pick. Yes, and what do we have? We have the God Ends. I think. Oh uh, yes, the God Ends is uh, probably one of the exciting products for 2020, at least for us. You know, God Ends is definitely not new to the market, but uh, yeah, that's right. We deep dive into God Ends and we start expanding their range, and uh, I was definitely surprised. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, God Hand is a very famous company, um, although they weren't always available everywhere. So. We've been able to um, uh, get a lot of the range 
and it's always expanding and they specialize in super special tools yes and it's always interesting i mean the, the tool that really grabbed me was this set of um tweezers so it's actually the ultimate yeah. uh, nippers which have been ground flat so that you hold onto things like grabbing this. yes holding and grabbing yeah that's right it's actually really convenient yes. if you think about it to, mm. to use those to to hold as a tall things yeah for sure and then you move to the range of uh premium side cutters or nippers yeah that's right so so this is a new one too so this is similar as well but this is designed for resin yes so it's got enlarged um, drawers there a bit more resilient yes because um as you saw in our home's workshop parts when you cut the supports um they're a bit thicker sometimes and you definitely need to be more uh be more strength but more so you're going to cut a lot of them so you want something that is going to last a long time that's right so that's very convenient to use one of those because yes. you're going to cut hundreds of liter supports yes so you, you'll be you'll be grabbing Jumping, like chopping. This. yep for, a, for and, quite a and uh, uh then again depend what material you use some materials are quite soft but yes. some of the high strength material that we use for uh their uh, radio control car parts yep. they're really strong yeah that's right and they so. will definitely tend to damage a fine uh, a fine side cutter so that's something to have and from memory is also limited edition isn't it that's right so it's not part of the regular range so we've got some in um and it's it's all there is until they produce they them again. more yeah and uh, one thing i found very interesting was the uh kids version the little one yes yeah, so the kids ones are very interesting because they've been able to shape it to the perfect size of a small kid's hand yeah and the points have also been rounded off so they can't actually jab themselves with it absolutely so just to put them side by side so yep. that's the kids and and they've done the handle curved so that works really well on a little hand yeah so i tried it on my on my girls and it works really well yep. they, they can definitely use it um as a nipper really where they, yes. when they're trying to use the big one it's definitely too big and, and it's a bit awkward but yes. the little one definitely a great way to get little ones to 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 model and when they're four yeah, and five sure. they definitely understand what to do yes they just need to have the right tools and yeah so they, they definitely make makes sense because for little kids you don't want to get them touching knives as yet correct so the cleaning and get the cut the first time the better the more enjoyable it's going to be and yep. yeah they get right into it and often kids tend to be quite quite um you know precise that they, they want to have it right so they actually would spend the time and if they have a tool that fits within their hands and they can yes. handle it properly yeah so that would definitely make the difference in my opinion yeah and uh and then their range expand to many many other things um for me this were a surprise they um uh, the, the pin, pin vices. vices yeah so that's the original um power pin vice yes so this one can do all the major sizes that you need yep. for modeling so it's got the different colors in it so this will take uh three mil down to point one mil wow just by changing these collets so you've got two collets with four different ends so that's the main one and then if you use a lot of the um the bits for um uh, sculpting yes. and the chisels and things then there's a short shank one this one here so that's shorter but the actual collet is deeper so yes. the bit fits in further all the way yeah, yeah. so it's uh, less chance of breaking it yes that's right Actually, and it's a bit more control look. and then the more recent one is the micro one super tiny yeah so the the thing about the, the cheaper pin vices is that there's plenty around yes the thing is that they're not machined very well and quite often their collets are made out of aluminium which yes. just deform they bend that's right and they're quite often not in the center but these ones are all tall steel and these are designed to handle one mil to 0.1 mil so you can imagine 0.1 mil is so small it needs to be grass and right in the center yeah, yeah. and these are perfect for that yeah it, 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 the small details of this um um pin biases that makes a huge difference i mean this is extremely smooth you think it's probably not really relevant but yes once you start using them and you, you're drilling you feel that really yeah, yeah that's right really freely it's yeah, very yeah. very user friendly yes it and it's really well balanced it's got a bit of weight yes uh big difference compared to the you know 20 dollar ones or so well that's right so it does make a huge difference because yeah. sometimes when you're turning them you feel it um catch and it doesn't Correct. feel right that's right yeah and specifically when you use the really fine bits that makes a huge difference all the specialized um drill bits they have yes they, yeah um all the carving type ones the carving yeah. one yeah yeah that also is another interesting range um from god ends all yes. the um what they call the little blade to do oh, the drill blades, drill blades. And then, yes yep. the drill blades so we have heap of videos on youtube actually on all these products so yes jump there and uh, have a look yeah be i mean this little stand is really good too i mean yes. there's something a lot of people haven't thought about i mean you definitely. just see we use it all the time it's got all of our tools on it the bottom has got some of the knives and we've got the drill bits on it and it's interesting how they've been able to make such a a, a great molding yes it's one piece okay yes. so 
There's just a couple of odd ends here, but the centerpiece is all one piece one mold. Piece. So it's really tough and it's all clear acrylic. And yeah, that makes everything really easy. Brilliant. And, and he's also from God Ends, obviously. Yes. So. yes. And uh, I think we need to mention the, the box to cut parts. The, yes. uh, how they call it? The so that's a hobby box. Hobby box. Yeah, so they, they've got the um, uh, polycarbonate hobby box. Yep. Uh, that's got the little um, magnifier on it. Yes. So when you're scraping things, sanding, all the dust, dust stays and, inside. Dust there, yeah. Yeah, because dust does go everywhere. And then you've got a little tray, you pull it out, and then you can get okay. all your bits. Yeah. Easily very, clean very interesting. Very yeah. very good idea. The other thing they make really well is um, all their sanding sponges. Yes. Sanding sponges. Uh, they've got some good stainless steel tweezers. Yes. Um, also the um, uh, they've got regular sandpapers and also waterproof sandpapers. Everything. So yeah. Really really broad range. So that was definitely a highlight for this uh, 2020 for us. Yes. So uh, worth mentioning these. What else do we have? Uh, we have who? Oh. My favorite pick. Oh, what's your favorite? So I think this is what I classify as the worst performer for this year. Oh, yes. Well, I guess whenever there's best performers, there's, there's always be a, worst, a performer. worst performer. So, and that's a bit for a laugh, obviously. Yeah, well, I mean, look, it, so Trumpeter, makes sense. Trumpeter's a Chinese company. Yes. So they've made a traditional Chinese building. Um, so one of the old courtyard yes. houses. So it sort of makes sense to have one of these built up mm. and have a Gundam walking around. Definitely. Um, but obviously that's my idea and not me other people's ideas. I, I think it would make a very interesting build actually. But, it would, uh, but it hasn't been that Probably popular, not as appealing. I think the picture at the front with the snow doesn't, uh, doesn't help too much. No, I guess the snow hides a lot of the shape, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. But uh, I guess we have to bring up the horse performer really. Yes. Which is probably going to sell tomorrow. But so far it's been... It, it's been, yeah, time. yeah. So occasionally I see some people looking at it. Occasionally definitely. I'm looking at it, and um, but it's still here. That's definitely yes. so. Very good. Runs good. Of the letter, so to speak. Oh, yes. Yes. Runs of the That's it. <laughs> okay, so we're almost at the end again today. Be. Hey, how see. do we go over the glue count? Uh, the glue count has gone all over the place, but is I it? think we are very, very close. Oh, I think, I think it may have been. Uh, sorry, not Tony. Uh, Rob, I think got the closest. Sixteen fifty. I can see a couple of 51. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're very close, guys. Very close. Uh, uh, 1654. And, oh, uh, who was that? Rob, well done. So, we have actually moved 1655 units of this glue. Yes. Uh, in the this calendar here from January 2020 to today. So That's amazing. Remarkable number. Uh, considering that there's probably other 20 different or 30 different type of glues available at any given time in store. So yes. just this Rebel glue has uh, sold 1,600 yeah, it's plus amazing. bottles. I mean, it's, it's a very good product. It works very well. Um, it definitely helps knowing the yes. tip. Yes. Uh, because if the tip gets blocked, a lot of people have thrown them out before, I've heard. Yep. But, you know, just knowing that simple uh, way of cleaning it out, yep. you can use it all the way to the last drop. And if you get to the last drop, you've made a lot of models. There's Absolutely. a lot of stuff in there. And the metal needle is very helpful, very precise. Yes. Some people prefer the tiny brush yes. that comes with the Tamiya, but it seems like the metal needle is probably what most uh, customers find uh, most intuitive to use yes. specifically. Yes, so, that's right. Uh, that's the Rebel Glue, is the winner for 2020. Yes. Let's see if uh, this glue can repeat the performance for next year, actually. Yeah, we'll see. I've this, got a question for you guys, for yes. that, if that's all right. Yes. Um, it can't just be used just for models. It can be used globally for a lot of other reasons, can't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's designed for welding polystyrene. So polystyrene plastic. So you get a lot of the evergreen yep. type plastic, which is evergreen. Oh, sorry, which is polystyrene. Polystyrene. And then um, if you're doing scratch building and such. Definitely. And then there's some toys out there that are polystyrene too, but they'll be marked polystyrene and they'll yep. work on them too. It's effectively chemical bond. It's not yes. actually a traditional glue, like a super glue, a CA glue. So this is micro melting yes. the, two, the two components yes. and then effectively uh, welding them. Yes, so, so it's making so. a very permanent... So it's a very different, uh, very different pros process, uh, and that's specific to uh, some materials. They actually uh, work with that, uh, with that principle. Yes. So winner. Yes. For 2020, and obviously Tony is asking. Who was the winner? Rob was uh, the winner. Rob, I think. Rob okay, got so Rob was the winner for the one six five four. So just one short. Well done. He must Excellent. have been here checking us for 12 months <laughs> to get so uh, so accurate. But uh, Tony was obviously asking what products are coming out for 2021. Yeah. Good question. Well, I showed off um, Tamir's got the new 24 scale Cinema McLaren, which is um, quite interesting. Um, 
There's the Hong Kong Models 1 to 48 scale oh, yes. Memphis Bell. Yeah, that's going to be 17. Yeah, uh, that's going to be really popular. Yeah. Um, oh, like like a lot of us, I guess we sort of learned about the Memphis Bell by the movie. Um, on a bigger scale, there is the new Porsche kit. I think is another Ducati. Is it that slightly different? Livery, yes, that's I think. right. Yes, so yes. That's also. Uh, so you might coming. remember we had that on a live show, didn't we? The big, yes, massive, the big, big huge, gigantic one. Yeah, diecast um, so motorbike. A new one coming, which yes. uh, which uh, should be on pre-order very soon. Yep. Uh, we've still got the VQS coming. The VQS, yes, yeah, should arrive. I yep. think very very soon once we in the new year, in the yep. next couple of weeks, I yep. expect. Hopefully. And then there was another Tamiya one. The um, there's uh, a red, there's a red something dragon. That's it. A fire dragon. Yes, the fire dragon. Fire well, dragon um, will be due. There's a few of those. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what else? Uh, Copper State Models got quite a few kits coming out. Yes. So there's the RAF um, Newport, um, and then there's the they're working on a Canadian armored car, and a the Lancia, the Italian armored car, is due in January, I think. So not far. Uh, what else? This is a real test, isn't it? Trying to test the memory. Yeah, we started to think about it just before <laughs> the live, and we are run out of time. So I think maybe something to actually discuss in the next few lives. Actually, yes. we we'll start getting some information. Yes. But uh, but there's some Yokomo stuff coming out. There's too, definitely isn't new Yokomo stuff. Yes. Uh, they'll be announced very soon. Uh, some new hot bodies uh, in the off road, obviously. Yes. Um, there's the nitro truck is still to come. We should arrive very soon. So the nitro version of this one here. Yes. Uh, and there's probably some updates on the ten scale. Electric yes. as well, so yes. we'll see there. Yeah, uh, some drifters, some new Yokoma drifting uh, cars. Yep. What else? Well, I guess on the model front, we we've got the scale seventy five, which we introduced definitely last week. Last so week. we'll be showing off a lot more of that and how to use it. Um, it's a really um, versatile system. Definitely. Uh, really looking forward to that. And let's see. Uh, I think that's it really at this point. There'll be yeah, there's quite a few mini art kits coming out which are really mini interesting. Mini art four or five every yes. month. So, so they got be interesting. Whole heap of Panzer fours coming out. Um, yeah. And coming to February and you know February Airfix will release new things and. Uh, oh, that's right. And then uh, also Hornby's going to Horn release the the year's range next year. Yes, uh, so there'll be quite yeah, a lot of week. stuff coming up in the, in the next few weeks. Yes. And obviously at the same time, Buckman and all the other manufacturers will have uh, their big releases. So yes. it'll be very interesting. To see what comes up, so it'll be uh, very, very nice for the next few lives to present uh, lots of these new products. We're well, looking forward to it because there's a lot of new products coming out, which is yes, is great to definitely. great to hear. So Rob is asking for if the Turbo Optima is coming. Turbo Optima. I thought there was some uh, announcements about it. Am I wrong? Oh, I can never keep up with Kyosho. But so uh, they had the Turbo Scorpion. Scorpion. Turbo Optima's Optima. been out. Hasn't it? Has it been do, do we have know. it last year? We had it last year, I think. Maybe we did. Maybe we did. So we could just, I guess we're waiting for another repop. Kyosho has been really good in um, hmm. uh, doing reruns. So yes. this year we actually, just before Christmas, managed to get a rerun of uh, the Beetle, the Ultima, and uh, Tomahawk, and quite a, quite a few quite a few other ones. So it looks like the manufacturing are quite short and frequent. Yes. Same yes. goes for the Mini Z. They yes. tend to sell out really fast, but they come back really fast as they well. They do. So. Well, they had the 12 scale, the yes. plasma. That's right. So hopefully that That's comes right, back yes. out next year. It'll be good to yeah. have some of those. So we will see. There'll be a lot of uh, a lot of stuff coming through. And possibly some new Homes Workshop in the works too. Oh, oh Homes absolutely. Workshop is going to start very strong in the new year. Yes. So yes. as we you know go through this... Um, bit of a Christmas break and then we'll uh, come January we'll definitely get on to that got yes. quite a few projects coming actually go yes so they're nice in. figure yes it'll be very interesting yes uh, and hopefully we'll uh, come to life the next month or so yes it'll be really really nice yeah big, there's big. a lot of projects uh, in progress probably halfway through um, a few new ones that we got to start definitely and some that are almost finished brilliant yeah a lot of stuff coming so I think we're almost at the end today oh really wow We've done uh, our hour long live almost, and it's almost time to close as well. And it is, and, and celebrations that's right. Say goodbye to 2020 2020? and say hello to 2021. 21, absolutely, yes. So, so I'd like see. to make one more mention for you guys, yes. Right away. Yes, um, for those who aren't aware, to sign up for our newsletter, yes, as always, uh, yes, to make sure, um, especially if you were lucky enough to get in the newsletters early, because definitely. Yeah, so the newsletter, you know, this year we actually improved the newsletter. So we got yes. some uh, sales coming through, some special discounts only for those that subscribe. Yes. So there'll be some flash sales, vouchers and so forth. So yeah. make sure you 
sign up. There will be some coming true for this week, and I think Matt, is that correct? A couple of vouchers. It's already gone out. It's already gone up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So make sure you always uh, register so you get uh, get these vouchers and yeah, that's right. They're, they're exclusive to people that subscribe. Absolutely. So, so yeah. So hopefully, well, I know the newsletters are, are worth the read. Definitely. So, They've always got something new in them. Um, and then you also get the voucher, which is an added benefit. An added benefit, absolutely. Mm. So, got a few few people giving us their Happy New Year. So, Chris Hale. Chris, oh. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. So, thank you for swinging by. And that's it, really. So, all right. That's happy it, New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. We are almost at the end. So, thank you, everyone, for joining us. And thank you for listening to us for the past 42, did you say 42? 42, 42 episodes. Yeah, that's right. And thank you for everyone's support because uh, it's been a trying year and we've gotten through it. Absolutely. And it's been interesting with lots of memories and um, it's been great. Yeah. It's been it's been a, a hell of a ride. Absolutely. So, again, thank you for joining us. Enjoy yes. tonight. Have fun and stay safe. See you See next you Friday. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.